As a dog lover, I know that you want to keep your furry friend out of harm's way at all times, but your pet's curious nature does sometimes get them into all sorts of trouble. Animals explore the world with their mouths, and this often results in them accidentally ingesting something poisonous. Every year, there are more than 214,000 cases of pet poisonings reported in the US alone. And the surprising fact is that most of these poisonings are caused by common household items that may seem perfectly fine to you. But just because it is safe to use in people does not necessarily mean that it will not harm your pet. So in this video, I will be going over every single item in your household that could potentially harm your pet so that you can equip your house accordingly in order to ensure that your beloved pet is always kept safe and healthy. So let's have a look. Number one, human food, starting with alcohol. Now symptoms of alcohol poisoning is very similar in animals to what they are in humans and can include vomiting, breathing problems, coma, and in severe cases, also death. Next up is avocados. Now you may consider avocados as being healthy, but they do contain a substance called person which can act as a dog poison, causing vomiting and diarrhea. And on top of that, avocados also contain a big center seed that may also act as a choking hazard. Next is macadamia nuts. These can cause quite a series of symptoms and may include overheating, weakness and vomiting. Next up are grapes and raisins. Now experts aren't really sure exactly why, but grapes and raisins, even in small numbers, may induce kidney failure in dogs. Next up is xylitol. Now this artificial sweetener can be found in many products, including sugar-free gum, candy, and even some human toothpaste. Now when ingested by dogs, this can cause a rapid drop in blood pressure, which can lead to weakness and even seizures. And some studies also reported cases of liver failure in dogs. Next up is chocolate. Though not harmful to people, Chocolate products contain substances called methylxanthines, theobromide, and caffeine, which can be hazardous to dogs, which can cause vomiting in small doses, and when ingested in large quantities, may even result in death. Now, darker chocolate usually contains more of these dangerous substances than do white or milk chocolate. Next are onions. Now, onions basically kill canine red blood cells, resulting in a condition known as Heinz body anemia, which can be kind of life-threatening. Now, even onion powder can cause this, so special attention to the ingredients are crucial. Next up are bones. Now, some pet owners will always argue that it is safe to feed their dogs bones, but dogs can splinter, but bones can splinter and cause all sorts of damage when ingested. In fact, cooked bones are very brittle and can become hazardous when ingested as it can either lead to an obstruction or cause internal bleeding as it moves along the digestive tract. And lastly, raw meat. Now raw diet is kind of a big topic for another video, but when done incorrectly, the dog may be susceptible to salmonella, E. coli and all sorts of other bacterial poisonings that may lead to vomiting, diarrhea and in some cases even death. Number two, over-the-counter medication. These are mainly medicine that you can buy from any pharmacy and that you probably already have lying around in your house. This group mainly contains acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol, Ibuprofen, and Naproxen, aka Advil or Aleve, as well as other herbal and nutraceutical products which humans mainly use to treat pain and fevers. Now, you should never ever use these medication or any other human medication for that matter on your dog without first consulting your veterinarian. These substances, even in small dosages, can cause a range of symptoms, starting with inappetence, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, blue colored gums, dark urine, and bloody feces. And without prompt veterinary treatment, an overdose can easily result in death due to organ failure. Number three, prescription medication for people. Now these mainly include medicine that a human doctor prescribed for a human condition to a human and once again can become very toxic to dogs when ingested. 
Now this group mainly contains prescription anti-inflammatory and pain medication that can result in stomach and intestinal ulcers, antidepressants which can in small doses cause vomiting and in more severe cases cause a condition known as serotonin syndrome which is basically a condition where there is an increase in the dog's body temperature, heart rate and blood pressure which can easily result in seizures. And lastly blood pressure medication which can result in a severe hypertension. Number four which may come as a surprise are veterinary products. These include both medications and things like tick and flea treatments. Now just as we can be easily poisoned and sometimes even killed by medication intended to help us, cases of pet poisoning due to veterinary products are not as uncommon as you would like to think. And some of the most common reported problem medication include dewormers, painkillers and ectoparasitic control. Now problems usually occur when dogs ingest a toxic overdose or when small dogs receive an excessive amount. Number five, household products. Now just as cleaners and disinfectants can easily cause poisoning in humans, they're also a leading cause of pet poisoning, resulting in both stomach and respiratory problems. And not surprisingly, the chemicals contained in antifreeze, dishwashing detergent, paint thinners, fertilizers, batteries, mothballs, and the chemicals contained in pool products can also act as dog poison. The pet poisoning symptoms that these may produce may vary, but usually include a combination of stomach upset, vomiting, diarrhea, depression, tremors, chemical burns, renal failure, and even death. Number six, rodenticides. Now, unfortunately, the bait we use to lure and kill rodents may look pretty tasty to our pets and when ingested can lead to severe problems. Now the symptoms that your dog will be showing largely depends on the nature of the poison and may not show for several days after consumption. Now rat and mouse baits either contain products that prevent coagulation which leads to life-threatening internal bleeding or products that causes brain swelling, toxic gas production and death due to respiratory complications. Number seven, insecticides. Now items such as bark spray or ant baits are quite easy for your dogs to get into and they are as dangerous to your dog as they are to the insects. Now the most common products contained in insecticides are organophosphates and carbamates. And when ingested in toxic amounts, your dog may start showing symptoms of vomiting, diarrhea, tremors, hypersalivation, seizures and respiratory complications which can also ultimately result in death. And finally, number And finally, number 8. Plants. Now I will bet that every single household owns some sort of plant and even though these seemingly innocent colorful decorations may light up the room, some of them may be extremely deadly to your pets. Now there is a long list of plants that are potentially toxic to your dogs. And there's absolutely no way that I'll be able to list all of them in this video. Thankfully, the ASPCA compiled the list of the most common plants found in households where they classify them as either being toxic or non-toxic. So please make sure to check the link that I'll leave in the description to see which plants in your household are either safe or toxic to your dogs. Now the most important plants to take note of, sago palm, include tulips, daffodils, lily of the valley, oleander, philodendrons, rhododendron aka azaleas, diffenbachia aka dumb cane, Japanese yews aka buddhist pine or southern yew, cyclamen and autumn crocus. Now most of these things probably came as a surprise to you as they are very common household items that we use on a daily basis. But again, just because it is safe to use on humans does not mean it is safe for dogs. Pets do not understand our language and therefore do not always know what will and what won't harm them. It is therefore your responsibility as a pet owner to educate yourself on the things that are poisonous to your pet and to modify your house in such a way that they do not get access to these products. Prevention is always the best cure and seeing that the treatment for most of these poisons can become quite intense, you will effectively save a lot of money on vet bills if you do not expose your pets to these dangers in the first place. 
Now this video was just a very basic overview on the most common household products that are poisonous to your dogs. Now I'm starting with a series where I will cover each one of these poisons in more detail. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And if there's any toxin or poison that you would like me to cover specifically, please let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you can smash the like button and share it with your friends and your family. And as always, have a lucky day and I'll see you in another video next week. Cheers!